Morning folks, um, another set of crossbowmen here um, and these are my special crossbowmen um, these have got a mixture of heads we've got uh, Perry's bodies and Perry's crossbows obviously Perry's arms and legs the heads are all from Victrix or Frostgrave uh, so we've got the uh, bald headed guy there I think from the Germanic set and a bald headed guy again here so you can see him a bit better, there he is, uh, all fitted up, we've got then uh, Gallic heads and Germanic heads um, and this is frost grey with a very typical sort of medieval style uh, floppy cap hat and uh, this one here with a kettle hat again from frost grave. I do like the facial expression on them, actually it reminds me of Les Dawson <laughs> a bit Les Dawson-ish while he's doing his Ada um, anyway sorry I digress yeah so different crossbowmen so I'm gonna get these uh, sorted out and started again drab colors nothing special they're just peasant crossbow mini types no real armor on these I don't know if any no I think I picked unarmored guys so these are basic leather leather jackets or canvas is it gambesons or whatever it's called Leather coats um, and sleeves protruding on some of them. Some of them have just got plain, plain, uh, um, yeah, nothing much on that one. Oh, we've got here a couple with this silly chain mail because it was very difficult to find figures that didn't have, but he's got a chain mail, Avon Tail, is it Avon Tail? Yeah, some words oh, on this one here is the same sort of thing. Yep, so there we go. I'll make a start on those and uh, see if I can uh, get them to match in with the uh, the ones I did last week. Anyway, back in a tick. Right, that's the uh, the first stage. Uh, I've just literally slapped, <laughs> and it is literally slapped, some brown paint on to make leather work. Um, just everywhere. I don't do it neat. I don't worry about it because it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be covered over or um, stain it over. Yeah, so as long as it's a good covering, um, I'm pleased with that. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere I need to be, and most colours will be able to cover over that. I've had to swap the figures around a bit because I, I laid out twelve crossbowmen and realised I needed some command. So we've got a, a standard bearer there. He's had a bit of a leather work on him. Oh, had a purchase. and we've got the musician here. He's a bit wet still. So I've just uh, I've undercoated the the horn, which will be brass, and he's got socks and a hood in the leathery colour. Again, every figure sort of got a bit of something leathery on them. Right now, I'm going to pick out some colours. I think I'm going for red, and then I should be going for a bit of blue. So back soon. Right, that's the colours and shading added. I'll just show you this one for example. The greens had three shades, the reds had three shades, and I'm going to be adding stainer as soon as I've got to uh, that point. <laughs> and the blue there, as you see, probably that's had two shades, and we'll be having a stainer, and the same with all of these. They've all had various amounts of shading. It doesn't look anything exciting at the moment, so uh, I'm not putting the stainer on yet. I'm going to put the flesh on uh, and the hair, and then I'll use probably flesh wash for most of the items to stain them. Might use a bit of um, mid-brown, but normally I just use the flesh wash, so that's gonna be the next stage. So yep, it's gonna be flesh and hair. Um, then I'll put the stainer on that. I think before I do these chain mail collars, um, where I haven't put them already, then I can just uh, put the stainer on. Oh, the green's gonna have green stainer, or green tone -da. and the blue is gonna have blue tone so that's the tones I'm gonna use on all those colors right I'll get stuck in back soon right there we go most of the painting is finished um, I had all the shading added and I've just added the washes um, also did the flesh and the hair flesh tones and hair tones I think you can probably see those there coming out pretty good everything's very shiny I've obviously got to uh, mat it down uh, what have we got next I think next thing's gonna be the crossbows 
uh, paint those, metalwork, bit of brass, and then belts and buckles and whatever else. Oh, and the, uh, the chain mail around the necks on what four of the figures have got to do that. That's a pain, but there you go, it's got to be done. So, I don't think I'm going to be much too much longer. So, I'll, uh, I think I'll come back to you when these things are all finished. Well, we're done. All finitoed. Um, yeah, finished, no problems. And I'll add in the other figures. Now, this is the crossbowman I did the other day. The other day, other day, <laughs> other day using the severed Roman head converted. And I've got an officer figure. Uh, that I'm going to put with them. So there we go, all finished. These are the uh, bases. I've got to uh, base these up now, obviously. Uh, three to a base. That's going to be the command base, and then obviously others are the crossbow and I'll spread out. Um, I've got yet, I've got yet, <laughs> I've got to uh, varnish them yet, but what I'll do is I'm going to base them up first, uh, put them on the card. Um, on the MDF and then I'll put some uh, matte varnish on so I'll get that all sorted and get them based up and also in the meantime he says moving that out of the way I've got my little bases here because I've got all of my pavis to do we've got to have the pavis so yeah I'm gonna be oops it doesn't really show does it got to get those sorted and painted um, Oh, the backs have got to be painted and the edges and then cut a few little props for them oh there we go yep so we're going to have four bases of figures and four bases of pavies um, then I can add them to the 12 I did last week and then we'll have our first 24 man unit of crossbow so I'm going to get busy with all of that and then come back um, to show you what I've got on with back soon well, there we go, all finished. The crossbow unit is finished. Um, all based up, as you can see. Normal basing, brown, three, dry, bleh, three shades of dry brush, flock and tufts. And there we go. Uh, put a nice, uh, nice shiny standard on it. As you can see there, that's a shiny standard. Um, I've also got, oh, just move that there. Just move those there, sorry. The Pavis finished, so there we go. Pavis, Pavis, and Pavis. So some Pavis for each one. I do those separately, as you can see. This is oh, I'm just holding my fingers if I can. That's the supports. Just put those under. A bit of flog, a few tops. Now that's that done. Now the great news is I can add these to the crossbows I did a couple of weeks ago to make my first. 24 man unit and of course they will need their crossbows which are here oops just get those out put those and there we go done the same way as supports so that's going to be a great looking unit I don't think I'll actually need two lots of <laughs> two lots of pavis uh, because I think they would be deployed um, like that I think they fire it in a rank and a half that gives you an idea what they look like that does look a bit posy doesn't it yeah i'm thinking i'll probably just move these out that's how we'll see it so i could probably get away with just one set of puppies um to put in front of the unit but i'm pleased with those i'm very impressed with myself 11 brownie points out of 10 i think yeah there we go so I'll take some still pictures and put those on. You can have a look at those as well. Um, I've got to work out what to do next. I think I've, I need a break from doing crossbowmen, I think. So I think I may do some men-at-arms to go with those knights I did last week. Then I can get those all based up as well. I need, what, about 30 men-at-arms. So I may do a couple of sessions of men-at-arms. So anyway, there we go. Thanks a lot. And... Bye for now.